So before we get rolling, I'd like to introduce you to Michelle Rondren. She's going to tell you more about what we're doing tonight. much fun. Um, thank you guys for coming out tonight for such a cool thing. And as you know, uh, Todd's fans started Spirit of Harmony. So it's all you guys that did this. This is amazing. So I've been learning so much. Hi, Grady. Uh, hi, Pat. I've been learning so much music. I'll try not to look because I'll say hi to everyone in here. Um, I've been learning so much music for the Intoxicats gig tomorrow night. Uh, I and some of them are here tonight. So uh, anyway, I have a list, and I thought I was supposed to read this tomorrow night, so I'm literally going to read it off my phone, okay? And then I'll talk, because you know, I read, I read what I'm supposed to, and then I just go off script. <laughs> uh, there's stuff I got to say, that because I'm the vice president of Spirit of Harmony, so there are things I have to you know, say business-wise. On behalf of Todd, oh, and the board of directors of the Spirit of Harmony, Welcome to this amazing evening of music, and thank you for your support in music education. Yeah, duh, you guys did this. Hi, Eric. <laughs> uh, hey, but um, off script, I want to say uh, Jerry Barad from Live Nation has become a really good friend. When we had no idea, he was a fan since like high school, or and so. Jerry has done nothing but spearhead this event and also help advance Todd's career by putting him out there again. So uh, tonight and always, thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Live Nation. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I'm supposed to give the elevator speech for those of you who don't know about Spirit of Harmony. Todd's Spirit of Harmony Foundation advocates for the moral imperative of musical education and music performance for youth. Beginning at the earliest age possible, after school programs, whatever, Spirit of Harmony forges meaningful partnerships among music programs, corp corporations, and other music education nonprofits, engaging supporters and music fans to become involved in working with music education programs nationally and in their communities. Basically, Ed and Jean just go around the nation kicking ass and putting people together. And if you want to go on Spirit of Harmony site, there are some amazing things they have done and some amazing things ready to happen that I can't even talk about because they said, don't talk about it. We want to do a big splash. So it's uh, every week they send us something about the people they have hooked up with other schools and uh, if you go on Spirit of Harmony site, if you haven't, they have all sorts of scientific research from Northwestern University that says, anybody with early music education is way cooler. <laughs> okay. Um, so as you enjoy the show tonight, we ask that you reflect on the meaningful and important role music has played in your life, either as a listener or a musician on any level. How music has touched you, transformed you? Was there a music teacher or mentor that inspired, that helped you shape your life as a child? And then they asked me to share a personal story. They know I'll cry. Okay, I'll try not to cry. But really, do think about that. The teachers in your life that inspired you. I'm a singer. Sing a, I will. I'll sing a little bit tomorrow night. I'll probably make up some lyrics along the way. But as we all know, music has touched every single person in this room. And we know how important it is. And uh, I thank all my early music teachers because they made me who I am. Besides my circuit coach. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, what else do I want to say that I forgot? Um... Do you need us to scout out a place for dinner after the show? Yes. Yes, dinner after the show would be good. Hey, I hope I can see all of you guys tomorrow night for Intoxicats. If I, yeah. 
if I don't, we're going to be back in Chicago and all over your, and I, you all have my personal email. Just tell me where we should play in your town, right? And now, is, I, I'm pretty sure the show should go on. Is this, Todd, is this Todd's mic, Paul? It is? Okay. 